Being a girl isn't easy. Not easy being a girl today. And I'm not saying that they had it easy back then in 1918. Well, we've got standards, they had rules, both had expectation consequences, us fools to bow down to the system, our society to them, men, for both a patriarchy, our matriarchy, a future penned by them, the ones who stood back then, stood up for us today. They stood together while we tear apart the unity, they laid down their lives to unite us. We laid down our lives to compete. They stood together while we tear apart and hate each bit that's unique, that stands outside of the system, of what we think is right. By right, a beautiful standard, unachievable, not right, not right or proper by any means to a system we shouldn't submit. But we submit and bicker and quarrel and fight and scrutinize every bit, every bit of every body. Our own body shot down by our brain. A female army marching against each other ourselves seems insane. When back then, then in 1918, the army marched for each other, for us. And for on, for on, against the odds, for freedom, and now we just fuss. For hairstyles, for makeup, for fitting smaller clothes, for mascara and lip gloss, and losing the next load, the fat, the joy, and lose it for what? For what would they say if they saw what we've got? What we've gone and got ourselves into? A cycle they wouldn't approve. Of what we've done now with their freedom that they fought for, and they had to prove we are worthy and are worthy for the freedom that they gained. We are worthy and are worthy, and we will not lose again. We are worthy for their battle scar. For us girls, we do belong. We are worthy right now as we are. Let's say it loud and proud and strong. And then I thought I'd do this poem. It's quite personal. It's for one of my best friends. We had a big argument. We don't talk anymore, but we've been together since we were born. So it's called Bridesmaid. I still want to be your bridesmaid, there to walk you down the aisle, there to curl your hair and touch up your lips and there to see you smile. And you say, I do, and chuckle and cry with the man of your dreams. I dream that I am still the one you ring first to tell our childhood routine, though we could not foretell. The cracks and the splinters that would tear us apart, the shard of the wound that's still fresh in my heart, though your heart is healed by his tender kiss. Mine is still broken at the thought I could miss you, the bride. The beautiful bride up there, front and centre, in the back I will hide at the back of the church, tucked away in the pew, not in the bridal party, not in that core group, not there in the way we dreamed I would be. Though we both know we share something stronger, you see, we bicker and fight, tear each other apart, but you still hold a place at the core of my heart. And if I can't be there, up, right by your side, I know you will still be the most perfect bride. But I still want to share in your beautiful day. So I guess, my dear friend, what I'm trying to say is, I miss you. I'm happy you're doing okay. But I miss you. And please, let me share in your day, in your beauty, in you. Let's return to child's play. Let's act out our routine, just for once, the same way.